Uh, what about, you didn't cover much of your action with the Alpine Club, because you built... Well, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> well, the other thing that happened was, uh, <coughs> at one point, Sister Therese LeBlanc came to me, and she said, look, I have a big problem. It was just during the time when regionalization came up of hospitals. Yeah. And I was still on the board. And uh, I looked at regionalization, Australia, Europe, New Zealand, and wherever they had tried it, it totally, totally failed. Mm -hmm. So, um, suddenly the Alberta government was coming up with this idea of regionalization. Right. And Shirley McLennan was Minister of Health. Right. <clears throat> and I knew Shirley from council meetings and this and that, you know, because all the ministers always met at the big conferences. Right. And I happened to have coffee with her once or twice and uh, and uh, she was in charge to get this whole regionalization deal going. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> I, one day she, we sat together and I said to her, you know, my mind is made up. It's a major, major disaster if you go into regionalization. Well, why? You know, we have all of these boards. We will only have 17 boards then. And it'll be so much more efficient. Well, the boards were all voluntary boards. They didn't get paid, only expenses. Whereas the new boards were all being paid. Yeah. So, you know, they had never figured this out. Anyway, our regional board was going to be Icefields to Vulcan, mm -hmm. with the headquarters in High River. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a mess. Shirley uh, appointed me to the board. I went to the very first meeting, <coughs> and the boards were made up out of councillors, farmers here and there. Nobody had any idea of anything. And finally they asked me, well, how would you run the board? And I said, well, I'd rent an office in Calgary because that's centralized. Mm -hmm. Give everybody a fax machine and a private telephone number. Oh, we can't do this. We have to meet at least every week. So <laughs> they all drove to High River every week. Yeah. Well, I resigned right there and then. I phoned Shirley and I said, no, without me, I don't, I'm not having anything to do with these boards. Well, why don't you try it? No, thank you, I won't. Okay, fine. Well, what are you going to do? And I said, I have another problem. <clears throat> All of the voluntary hospitals, Salvation Army, Mineral Springs, the nuns, the uh, Lutheran outfits, everybody, you know, they all have equity in their buildings because they built their own hospitals. Why disown them now altogether? Why not leave the volunteers alone so that they can have their own uh, administration? Pay them just like you pay the regional hospitals, but under a master agreement, keep all of the voluntary hospitals out of the regionalization. Well, that stirred up one great big flame, I tell you, and smoke, and boy, oh boy. I tell you, it was unbelievable. Shirley McLennan would phone me on Saturday morning and I'd sit in there, my little TV room, and we'd make out this agreement together. And then she got aboard to go through the agreement and then we got in to Ralph Klein and Cabinet, presented the voluntary master agreement it was approved by cabinet. Shirley and I signed was, was it. Was Ralph Klein premier at the time? Yeah. yeah. And all of the volunteers were kept out. They had their own CEO. They could abortion or non-abortion or whatever, ethics committees, all of this, choose their doctors, mm -hmm. do the whole thing. And <clears throat> I tell you, the flack I got over that and the horrendous 
animosity it created throughout the province was unbelievable. There were people walking in Banff in front of me and spitting on the ground saying, you son of a gun, you and your master agreement will destroy it. You see? The oh, it was, the, the hatred was unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. And then, the biggest thing was, the 17 didn't function, so they brought it down to 7. Yeah. And I said, so surely, right there and then, why don't you put mineral springs in Canmore into Calgary? You know, because everything flows into Calgary anyway. Why hire a river? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Yeah. Well, that's what happened. And now the seven are gone. Yeah. And now there's only one super board. Yeah. Ken Hughes at the helm. Oh, no, Ken, he used to be at the helm. He, now he's Minister of Energy. That's right. Is he? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, he hated my guts, I tell you, because he was chairman of the... Of the uh, of the board, right? And uh, <clears throat> he had promised the board, all the chairs, that he would destroy the master agreement. And I said to him, "Well, if you want to destroy it, it's very very simple. Uh, we'll phone Shirley McLennan. You and I meet with her, and we'll see. You give him your story. I'll give him my story, and we'll see what the outcome is." And he walked out of the room. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. 